Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Flight refuelers acts as a force multiplier for any air force by increasing its speed, range, lethality, flexibility and versatility of the fighter jets. Air refueling increases deployment speed by eliminating air route stops and extend aircraft range to the limit of the air crew, making strategic targets accessible to tactical aircrafts. If you have enough refuelers, the combat aircraft need not to carry additional drop tanks and can take off with their full weapon payload delivering their maximum combat power. Indian Air Force is currently operating six Illusion IL-78 equipped with Israeli fuel transfer system. These refuelers were inducted back in the year 2003, almost 19 years ago. The Illusion 78 refueler can refuel three aircraft simultaneously. In one operation, it can refuel beasts like Su-30 MKI six to eight times. It has also refueled Jaguar and Mirage fighter jets of Indian Air Force. However, their actual serviceability has been under 50%, which means at any given time, Air Force won't have more than three refuelers available. Just three available refuelers for an Air Force operating massive fleet of 600 plus fighter jets is a huge capability gap. Considering the service availability of IL-78 refuelers and two front war situation, Indian Air Force at least need six more air refuelers. To fill this capability gap, HAL has entered into a memorandum of understanding with Israel Aerospace Industry to convert civil or passenger aircraft into multi-mission tanker transport aircraft in India. The scope of MOU also covers conversion of passenger to fighter aircraft. The current six Illusion IL-78 refuelers under operation by Air Force were also converted with the help of Israel. The move will provide India's defense ecosystem with new capabilities and a cost-effective solution for the refuelers. The endeavor for the air refueler has started with an RFI back in the year January 2018. The competitors for this requirement were IL-78, Airbus A330 MRTT, Boeing KC-46 Pegasus and Boeing 767-300ER multi-mission tanker transport aircraft. Back in April 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is looking to lease the mid-air refueler aircraft and will adopt a new methodology for the process based on the number of hours of availability per year as the criteria. The leasing will be based on the hours of availability per year indicating the minimum and maximum hours required. Now as per the latest interview of Chief of Air Staff to SP's Aviation, Indian Air Force is moving a case for procuring six refuelers for meeting its operational requirements for which qualitative requirements are being finalized. In interim, to meet the current training requirements, a case is under process to lease one refueler. RFI for the weight lease was issued in March 2021 for which six vendors have responded. Evaluation of the same has been completed and the draft LOR is under process by Indian Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.